So they kill it off. Stainhouse moves it and bounces it over to John Grant Jr. He passes it down low. Here's a shot coming. Carlson with the same. Rebound, they score. Katoni out of the box on the board. 1 0 Peterborough. Holden Katoni was serving that bench minor for too many men. Rejoined his team on offense right away. And he makes an impact. His first shot on net of this game. You take a look at Turner Evans right off the belly pad of Carlson. Katoni comes in from the top, gets the rebound right in front of the crease, and is able to rip that home. You get a good look at how spread out the Lakers had the Brampton defense there, allowing Katoni to get in. Career, the far side for Turner Evans to Mark Stainhouse. Stainhouse has a little room, shoots, he scores! What a shot, Mark Stainhouse. It's 2-0 Peterborough. Mark Stainhouse, the man who had the game-winning goal here last Thursday, puts the Lakers up by two. And a nice soft shot from the outside, an accurate one. He knew exactly where he was putting that. Used the little bit of traffic that was in front of Carlson. Jason Crawford blocking the shot. I don't think Carlson could get a feel, full view of that. Perfect play by Stainhouse to use the screen. You told them right now, go into the intermission, just down 2-1, they would take that. And here's a chance to get on the board. They do. They close the gap. It's a one goal game. As the Lakers defense kind of caught standing around a little bit there, Scotty. And next thing you know, the ball's in the back of the net. And you got to keep an extra eye on number 77, Quinn Palace. He came over in that uh, trade for the Dawson brothers from Six Nations. He's a young up and comer. He had two goals, three assists against the Lakers on Saturday. And this time, the Lakers defense lets him get to the net. He fakes the flip pass and then just cuts right around. And watch him stretch the stick over to the other way, kind of a strange looking shot. It was enough to fool Vince. They call that the twister that we've talked about. A lot of the younger players are using that move now and it's very effective. Sean Evans with it. Brad South comes in. There's the pass. Katoni to Evans, over to Evans. He plants, he shoots, he scores. Sean Evans, 3-1, Lakers. An absolute bullet from the right side shooter position. His 20th of the season. First goal of tonight for Sean Evans to put the Lakers up by two. And then he swatted Jason Crawford's stick down, the man who was defending him, and had a couple words in his ear as well. What a beauty shot. We'll see. This is how Carlson saw it. He was being screened. One of the defenders, I think it was Jay Thornburg, came in front of Carlson right at the last second. And Evans took full advantage of the screen. Pereira. Paulus. Rest of Terrence. Shoots, he scores on the power play. That's what they're hoping for to get one fairly early. They did. And it's a one goal game once again. The league's reigning MVP doing it all by himself. We saw a great opportunity on that where he threw three fakes, missed it and then takes advantage on his next opportunity, saying, hey, I'm not missing again. A nice feed from Quinn Palace. This time, no fakes. He just steps around the defender, drops it through, right over the shoulder of Matt Vitz. And Evans. There's the pass. Vitarelli shoots. He scores, Corey Vitarelli. Nice little fake. He froze Carlson, and the Lakers lead it 4-2. We talked about how valuable Corey Vitarelli is to this offense, and he shows it right there. Sean Evans just couldn't get through. Kudos to the Brampton defense. They were containing him well out to the top, and Corey Vitarelli used that to his advantage to take the open space down the middle, and he cuts right through two defenders and just drops it over Carlson, who went down to the turf hard. I think he thought Vitarelli was going to shoot it down low from the angle he was coming in, but... Vitarelli was able to tuck it up high. Just a nice goal by number 23. Sean Evans will get the assist on that one. Here's a chance out in front. They score. Brampton getting within one. Nice goal right there as it was Reza Terrence with a, a beauty. That's his second of the game. And another nice one cutting right through the middle. And they are happy on the Brampton bench. And why not? You are within one against the first place Peterborough Lakers. You would never think Brampton was in last place the way they played if you've only watched their last two games. 
You'd think they were right up there in the standings. But Joel Rezateritz proving his worth once again. Good face-off win by Brampton here, too. We have a... Here's Mark Stainhouse. Stainhouse rolls. He shoots. He scores. Lakers lead it by two. Stainhouse with a trickler that barely finds its way through. Nice overhand shot from the top. Carlson got a tiny little piece of it. But it just kept going off that carpet. Those are the tough ones as a goaltender. Looked behind him, but it was too late. The ball was already in, and here's another look. Just off the inside of his leg, you can see his frustration, just sort of punching that left hand through, reacting to the sight of that ball past the goal line. Here's a chance, Brad Self on a breakaway. Self goes in, and a save by Carlson. Rebound played by Evans. Evans with Vitarelli, scores! What a rocket by Corey Vitarelli. It's 6-3 for the Lake Show. 15th of the year, and he missed a couple weeks of action in there, too. So he could have probably closer to 22-23 right now if he didn't miss two weeks. But Carlson, I mean, he's got no chance on that one. Like, look at this. Right over the shoulder. Corey Vitarelli has a hard enough shot when he... Aquin with it here for the Excelsiors. Still only trailing by three. So they've kept uh, the Lakers off the board for the first four and a half minutes, but haven't got one. Will they get one there? Yes, they do from way out. Quite the shot there from Mike Burke beating Matt Vincent. It's a two goal game. That one was from way beyond the arc. Mike Burke has one of the best shots on this Excelsiors team. We haven't seen him being able to unload anything tonight. That was his first real good opportunity, and he took full advantage of the open space. Right through a screen, Matt Vince, not sure if he could see that fully coming or not, but that was from way beyond the arc. And the Excelsiors keep clawing their way back into this. Turner Evans with John Grant now with it. There's a little fake. Grant, another fake, shoots, and he scores! John Grant, Jr. with a nifty one. He knew it was a matter of time, Scotty. He knew it was a matter of time, that is right. And another trickler, it was a great play and a great shot, but Carlson did get a piece of it. it barely went through that goal line as we get a look at Carlson there. Doing a little bit of a head shake, but nice fake flip pass. I don't know if that was a fake or if it just got knocked back into Junior's stick. You never know with him if that was intentional or not. Definitely a fake there as he popped it up in the air, got the Excelsiors oh. thinking, and passed it to himself, basically. Yep. It's quite the art to try and keep track of everything for the referees. Here's a shot, they score, Ferreira. So just like that, Lakers lose the ball. Brampton goes down the other way. They score a big one. They are now within two. What a play by Tyler Ferreira. He's had an excellent offensive game, just hadn't been able to find the back of the net until now. Matt Vince did a great job at trying to stretch out and cover the entire net, but Ferreira just had enough patience to hang on to it right until the last second and find that opening. Ferreira takes the feed out of the corner. Vince got a little piece of that it trickled in, but you got Ferreira coming at you full speed. Tough to guess where he's going to shoot. And now it's played here by the Excelsiors. Caputo. Shot coming, they score! It's Burke again from way out, and that gets the Excelsiors to within one. It's a 7-6 ball game here. Deja vu as Burke scores from the exact same place as he fired one earlier, way beyond the arc. And he just thought, hey, it worked before. It may work again. This time he's cutting around from the shooter position on the run before he unloads it. And Vince drops down, and it finds its way into that top corner. It's just in a little too deep, but almost pulled it off. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Junior looks, fakes, another fake, a pass to Evans. Evans to Grant. Grant shoots. He scores. John Grant Jr., his second of the night. On the power play, it's 8-6, Peterborough. And another great feed by Sean Evans. That's his fourth assist of the night. 
and they've all been solid assists. They weren't the second pass or any of those assists where, you know, you don't really work for the A. This is a great one. He gets the whole Excelsior's team keeping an extra eye on him. They thought he was going to shoot from that right side shooter position. John Grant sitting all by himself on that left side is able to tuck it through his second of the period. Under a minute to go and a bad pass. And here's Brad Self going to try and track this down. He's got an empty net. Self shoots, he scores. A Self serve goal right there by Brad Self into the empty net. That will seal the deal, ladies and gentlemen. That will be enough for the Lakers on this night. Tyler Carlson, the former Laker, hoping to steal a win here tonight. Won't be able to get it done, but Brad Self, good loose ball. Bit of a tough angle for a left-handed shot, too, but he just kind of run out of the room, but uh, made no mistake. Brad Self gets, uh, you know, rewarded for a, a solid game transition and defensively tonight is able to find himself with a goal on the board. He could have done it actually with the two goal lead, but he didn't He didn't even try it there with a three goal lead, he did it. Now it is a two goal lead again. Burke blasts one pass. The goaltender, Matt Vince, but it's gonna be too little too late. Makes the score look a little more respectable. And in fact, you know, for the most part, it has been a two goal game. And that's probably where it's gonna finish, 9-7. As Matt Vince came pretty close to an empty netter. And that one beat him cleanly. But the Brampton Excelsiors running out of time here tonight. They're not going to be able to pull off the upset here tonight in the Lift Lock City. Final faceoff of this lacrosse game. And that will do it. This game's over. Make it a 9 7 final tonight. The Peterborough Lakers defeating the Brampton Excelsiors. Your post game show with Scotty and the gang coming up as Matt Vince. And the Lakers celebrate their win. You're watching Lakers across on Kojiko TV.